Hi everyone, thanks for joining. We're excited to talk to you today about the deskless workforce and how you can digitize and streamline their work without writing a line of code. We'll talk about who the deskless workforce is, what are the challenges they're facing, and how organizations can use AppSheet apps to solve those challenges and boost productivity. We'll walk through several great examples of what these apps look like and how they are actually being used in the field. Now, before we jump in, we'd like to give a quick introduction to who we are. My name is Chris Bailey. I'm a product marketing manager on the Google AppSheet team and was actually with AppSheet before it was acquired by Google in January this year. And I'm very excited to be joined by Johnny Hacking, who is the director of IT at BHI. Johnny, would you like to introduce yourself and maybe give a little background about BHI as well? Awesome, thanks, Chris. Hi, I'm Johnny Hacking, and I am the IT director here at BHI and have been for the past three years. And I've been in the IT field for over 15 years. Now, BHI is a turnkey general contractor that began as an electrical contractor and has grown into a company that serves the civil, pipeline, communication, electrical, and renewable energy industries across the United States. Now, we've already mentioned AppSheet a couple times, and I realize that many people are just learning about it. So I wanted to start off by giving a quick intro introduction and overview to what AppSheet is. AppSheet is a no-code application development platform that enables anyone to create apps fast. At a high level, it's a simple process. First, you connect your data. AppSheet can connect to a wide variety of data sources, including Excel files, Google Sheets, Cloud SQL, and on-premise databases. Then you can customize your app within the AppSheet editor and create and adjust views, workflows, notifications, and more. Finally, you can deploy your applications out to both mobile and desktop devices. And AppSheet does an excellent job of being responsive and working on all of these devices. So while AppSheet integrates with a wide variety of software, we found that it is particularly powerful when combined with G Suite. The two products work together in many ways. You can store app data and content on Drive, you can build an app directly on top of Sheets and create, read, update, and delete Sheets data from the app. You can open up Google Meet, use Docs as templates, create and update calendar invites, and extend your forms functionality. There's a lot of goodness that comes from using the two platforms together, and I definitely recommend exploring how you can use them to solve your business challenges. So that's a high-level overview of what AppSheet is. Now we want to shift the topic and focus more on the deskless workforce and the ways we can utilize AppSheet to enable those teams. 80% of the global workforce is deskless. These are people working in the field and on the floor who have to get up and move around and don't spend the majority of their time next to a computer. Think of field technicians, construction workers, sales representatives, doctors, nurses, event managers, manufacturing specialists, just to name a few. More and more, we're seeing deskless workers looking to technology to find ways to improve productivity and efficiency. And these challenges they are facing are different from those faced by desk workers. For example, while it may be very easy for someone sitting at a desk to open up a new sheet, write up an invoice, um, you know, adjust margins and formatting, that can be a lot more, uh, that can be much more difficult for someone who's in the field as they may not have a computer and they may be on their mobile phone or tablet where it's just trickier to format a document and perform actions like that. Now, BHI's deskless workers have been using AppSheet in some really interesting ways. So I actually wanna pass it over to Johnny to talk about those challenges they were facing and how they use AppSheet to solve them. Awesome, thanks. So the challenge we faced was we were required to submit multiple inspection forms on a daily basis for one of our projects. And current processes just didn't work. It was to fill out paper forms in the field and then later inputting that data to send off from a computer either at a hotel, job trailer, or other location. This needed to be done for all inspections that day, which were multiple, sometimes 30 plus, and we didn't have the manpower to meet these requirements. For this project, management looked to IT for a solution because hiring more people would put the project's success in jeopardy. The current process was not working. Forms and spreadsheets brought challenges of managing data and workflows across multiple jobs. Developers can be costly, 
and external solutions are inflexible because it's never just one external solution. You know, we have multiple divisions here at BHI and they all have different needs. Now, BHI had just migrated to G Suite and was having great success with the collaboration it brought. And that's when we found the app sheet on top of G Suite gave us the ability to take full advantage of these digital platforms. It gave us the offline capability in an actual app and was easy for our users in the field that are in very different working conditions. AppSheet works seamless with Google Sheets and Docs, making it easy to push out applications fast and simple. Actually, one of the apps in the demo you will see later, we made in a matter of hours on a job site in a job trailer. Customization of AppSheet has helped us save money because we are custom making apps for specific jobs that sometimes only get used once for a project. One thing to note is that it isn't just IT that is developing these apps, but people from multiple teams to help make them better because a lot of the times they understand the needs of their project better than we do. IT is just brought in as a final step to review the app before it goes live. Since using AppSheet, I've been told multiple times on job sites how much they love the apps and to keep them coming because they're making their job a lot easier. Now AppSheet has solved a lot of our problems and transformed the way we work as a company. Its ease of use allows for my small team to deploy apps that meet the requirements of multiple disciplines rapidly. Forms that are required on every job are now digital and filled out on the fly with all the data being stored in Google Drive. Apps aren't just forms though, but something that is tailored for each job. We have ones that are used across the entire company and others specific to projects because of the information gathered and reported in real time. This has cut costs by reducing our overall IT budget by 10% when we normally paid that to other third-party softwares. And an example is some quality inspections on electrical work was taking up to two hours to do one inspection. By the time everything was filled out and inputted into a PDF, combined with pictures taken on site and emailed to the client on a daily basis from a computer back in the office. Not only did our apps allow this to happen in the field, but they also cut down these inspection forms from two hours to six minutes. This was the solution to our challenge in the previous slide. The result was money saved and we we're able to meet the job requirements. AppSheet has also given us more time with two of our AppSheet apps for one department completely freed up 20 to 30 hours a week. This time was generally spent on printing and scanning forms to manually inputting data into a spreadsheet so that it could be analyzed. Now our workflows do this in a matter of minutes. We are now making decisions on data that's happening now versus what happened two weeks ago. The best part about this is our employees are coming up with new innovative ways we can use AppSheet, which isn't happening in conference rooms, but across construction sites all over the country. Awesome. Now, Johnny, if it's okay, let's actually walk through some of the apps you've created with your team and talk about how they've been beneficial for the mobile workers. So this is our company dashboard app. Um, it's a, basically, we call it BHI Relay, and it's a, a bunch of apps you can see that we've created um, for a lot of use cases, such as equipment rentals, time tracking, PTO, and HR forms. With the company being as diverse as it is, it's an easy one-stop shop for people to find what they need, regardless of their department. Great. Now let's open up a couple of these apps and walk through how they're actually being used. So let's click on safety apps demo, which will open up another menu of safety specific apps. And let's look at the near miss report. Awesome. So yeah, this is filled out whenever there's an incident that almost occurs on a, on a job site or in an office building, anything like that. Um, so if it were to happen and I was an employee, I could either notify my foreman or myself. Um, if I was in that position, I could come to here and first off, the view you're going to see is all the near miss forms that I've filled out in the past. Or if I was a foreman, I would be able to see ones that I have filled out or um, ones that have been filled out for the employees that I'm over. And if once I open this up, I'm right here in the bottom right, there's a plus. And let's say I need to fill out a near miss. So I'm going to hit that plus, which is going to bring us to the form and start walking us through here. Fill out our incident location, where this happened out in the building, janitor closet, 
parking lot, whatever. And then right here in the near miss, you get to a section. Um, we've had times like this as a construction company, we do work for other people. And sometimes the companies we do work for, they require us to use their forms. Well, we want people, our employees to use the app because it's very important for what we do. But at the same time, we don't want to be requiring our employees to fill out three or four different type of forms um, and wasting all that time uh, when they can be doing other things. And so we made it easy for them to select the picture item and then they could click on the picture icon and actually take a picture of the near miss they filled out. And I'll interject here and just say that when you select picture and are on a mobile device, it'll just open up the camera right there so that you can actually take a picture of the form and save it down to your app. We also created that for a file because on some jobs, um, people, someone else has filled out the near miss uh, for that other company and then emailed us a PDF copy. Well, it give us a way that it's given us a way there that we can click on file, click on that icon and browse to a PDF or some other document on the computer and upload it as well. But let's say for this um, instance, sometimes we don't have those, we can click NA and then that is going to present us with the rest of the information that we need to fill out in order to complete the near miss form. And so as uh, we're just gonna kind of go down and fill out some of the data, answer the questions. And one thing I really like here and, and which is huge with all our safety apps is sometimes uh, it's nice to be able to require the information that needs to be filled out. Yeah, so essentially everything with a star is required. And if you try to move on to the next step without filling those out, you'll get an error. And you can also set additional parameters on those requirements, like um, specifying that it has to be an email or a number or something like that. And then we're gonna get down here with the employee signature, just so you know that if you are on a tablet or a smart device and you click on that, you'll be able to just draw with your uh, finger or a stylus or whatever and actually capture people's real life signatures. And then at the very bottom, you can fill in an email address if for some reason you needed to email a copy of this near miss to that person um, for reporting purposes. You fill that in once it saves. AppSheet has a workflow that combines this information, puts it into a PDF, and emails it off to that person. Now that we've hit save, you can see all that it's been added with the other near misses that have been filled out. And it's right here, and we have done our job. Now. There's one more app that I think is really clever that we want to show you, the Time Entry app. So yeah, this app is really interesting because uh, COVID had just happened and we needed to create something um, that would meet all the requirements of social distancing um, and not to touch as many surfaces as possible as we could for this job site. And to keep track of time, people would just click on a tablet and punch it in. Well, not with this case, we created a solution so we didn't have to. On setup here, each employee will be in the list um, and we'd add employees and we'd give everyone a barcode uh, that was a sticker and we'd put that underneath their hard hat. From there, um, every day, the person in charge of time would click on check-in and what that would do is it would open up the scanned section and if you were on a tablet, it would open up the camera itself and it would just stay open all the time. What would happen is when a barcode is filled in or you hold the bar, their hard hat with the barcode sticker, the camera will recognize that, fill in the barcode, it will save it and automatically go to the next one. And it will just keep doing this all day until that person would come back and get the tablet at which everyone has been clocked in for the day, not having to touch the iPad or the tablet or anything. At this point, you're likely curious to see what these applications look like on the back end. So I'm going to open up the app sheet editor and show you what it looks like. So let's look at the time entry app that Johnny just showed us and see what it looks like behind the scenes. Now all of that apps data is hosted in this Google sheet. It has two tabs, the first with a simple table that will update as people clock in and out, and the second with the employees' emails and associated barcodes. To create an app, all you'd have to do to get started is to pull up app sheet and connect it to a spreadsheet like this. So let's see what it looks like in the app editor. This is the app sheet editor. Over here on the right, you can see a live preview of the app 
and you can switch to different views whether you want to see phone, tablet, or desktop views. On the far left, we have the main menu of edit options. The key ones you need to know when you're getting started are info, which gives high-level information about your app, data, which lets you build and update your tables, columns, and slices, UX, where you can adjust the look and feel of the app and behavior, where you can set up actions, workflows, and reports. Let me highlight a few key features of this app. So when we go to data, tables, and this time tracker app, we can see that the same tables in the spreadsheet are also listed out here, timesheet and setup. When we select view columns, we see that all the columns were added as well. There's also some additional columns that have been created to add functionality to the app. And several of them, if we look here, include formulas that we've added to help run the logic of the app. Next, if you wanted to adjust the look and feel of the app, you can go to UX brand and easily change your app to light mode or dark mode and adjust your colors, which you can see being updated in the live preview here. Now let's say you wanted to have an automated report sent to the payroll manager that showed how long each employee worked that day. That report is simple to set up. You can go to Behavior, Reports, and select New Report. Here we've already created one, so let's just open that up to give you an idea of what that report can look like. So daily, at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, use the Today's Timetable which, just so you know, is a virtual table or slice that we created within this app. We don't have to set additional conditions, so let's leave that section blank and do this. Let's send an email to these two addresses with this information and, and note here that you can have piped text too. And let's also send a text message so that they know the report is in their inbox. So you update all this, and after that you can click Save, test the report out once or twice, and start using it. Now I'm going to stop the demo here because unfortunately we don't have time to go through every piece of this app, but we have extensive documentation online, as well as a very active AppSheet community that can help you get started and answer any questions you have. Now before we end, we wanted to just give you a few more ideas of other common apps we see customers building for their deskless workers. We've talked a lot about field service and inspections and audits, but we also see people using AppSheet for inventory management, project management, such as on-site budget tracking and worker management, human resources, such as onboarding, training and timesheets, and sales and marketing, which is especially useful when you have a mobile workforce that spends a lot of time out in the field talking to prospects and customers. Hopefully this presentation has given you some valuable information on how you can better enable your mobile workforce. If you'd like to learn more about AppSheet or start creating apps, you can get started at appsheet.com. So thank you for watching this presentation and happy app building.